Hey guys, so this has been a little bit overdue, but I've been busy, so sorry, it is coming. I asked uh, over the past week if you guys are sending questions, so I could collate like a, a frequently asked questions. Um, I get a lot through Tumblr, through Instagram, through Snapchat, so I thought I'd just put them all together, cover off just like the main ones in a little video. So hopefully you like it, hopefully it answers what you've got for me, and we'll go from there. Also, really in the gestures right now apparently, so we'll just keep that up. So I'm going to start from the beginning. I guess if I screw up, well, I'm new at this, so that's my excuse. So the first one is, where am I from? I guess first up, hi, I'm Nathan, in case no one knows who I am. I run Bangarang blog, and I'm owner slash creative director of Milestone Strength. I'm from just outside Sydney, Australia. I'm not going to tell you exactly where, because that's my little secret. I grew up in Sydney and have lived in Australia my whole life. Travelled a fair bit, but this is home, so I live in the beach here and it is a beautiful life. I'm very lucky. How old am I? I am currently 27 and a half. I uh, turned 28 this year. Height, I am approximately 5'9". I'm like one eighth of an inch under 5'9". So I just, I'll round it up because everyone wants to be taller. I'm not bothered by my height, I'm actually pretty comfortable with it. It's, it, some people are often surprised because I, I think I tend to shoot taller than I actually am, um, being quite broad and, and I have a long torso, so it makes me look big, but I'm I'm about average height, to be honest. Weight, it's getting personal. Um, generally around about 75 kilograms. I don't, I don't know what that is in pounds. I don't use the American scale of things. I think it's like one, 160 pounds, but I could have just made that up, so don't trust me. Boxes or briefs? Uh, I'm a briefs man. I like to keep a nice, tight package, so boxes are not for me. Do I drink, smoke, or do drugs? No, to all of them. I never have, and I never really will. It's just a personal thing. I've never really needed it to let loose. I kind of, drugs I don't like what it does to people. I'm very opinionated on that, which is fine. I have no problem with drinking, it's just not for me. And smoking is a filthy habit, so you should stop if you're smoking. My favorite place is the ocean. Um, I'm always happiest when I'm in the, in the water, so that's, that for me is heaven. I, I love being in the water and just being comfortable and happy there. Sexuality. Um, I'm straight, which, I mean, I've got a huge gay following, which I love and embrace. I, I've always said I'm straight for supportive. I think I'm probably the new age type guy in that I'm very comfortable myself and I have absolutely no problem with anyone's sexuality. I don't care that people think I'm gay. It's not an insult, I, whatever, but uh, no, I am straight. Tattoos. No tattoos. I'm all clean, although I do have piercings, as you can yeah, I'll zoom in and focus. You can see I've got my ears uh, stretched out and my little nose ring, which I've had. Um, had the nose ring for about 10 years, my ears have been stretched out for about six. And they're done, staying that size, they're about 10 millimeter. How long have I been working out for? I've always been an active person. Ever since I was a kid, I played sports and did all that sort of stuff. Um, and I've been training at the gym for about two years now, and actively training and really making it sort of a job for the past I'd say year. My favorite holiday and where do I want to go? I love the States. I've been to America a few times and I've got so many friends and, and a lot of supporters over there. So if you're from America, hi, I love you. I've done a lot of Southeast Asia, which I love. I want to do Europe. I've never done any Europe. So hopefully this year I'll do a bit of work and, and get over there and explore because um, that's a big one for me. So if you're from Europe and you want me to come over there, get in contact, I want to come see you. How do I make money? This is, this is how I make money. Not this video in particular, but I make money at the moment through uh, like ambassadorships, so uh, sponsored work through branding. The, when you see me tagging clothes and tagging brands and, and sort of advertising through both Bangarang, my Instagram, through here, Snapchat, any of those uh, social media sites, which are it's a new industry and I'm, I'm very lucky to be a part of it. But So whenever you go and buy the things that I'm wearing, you're actually helping me make money. So. Thank you. <laughs> um, I'm very lucky in what I do and hopefully you don't feel like it's selling out because I don't feel like it is. I wouldn't em endorse anything that I wasn't 100% behind and, and wouldn't use myself. I try to have integrity with everything I do and I do definitely turn down jobs that don't work for me. If I'm promoting something, it's because I genuinely believe in it and that's how I make money. There's also Milestone. So Milestone is my online personal training business. I have with my business partner, Lane, who he's watching. Hi, Lane. You're amazing. Love you, dude. Um, Milestone is our online programming. So we develop online personal training programs and we now are in 
uh, I think like 46 countries and have over a thousand clients worldwide and our online community is growing and we've got big plans for this. If you're looking to get fit and healthy and you're not sure how to make a start, well definitely look into that because we can help you, I promise. How did I get my following? <sighs> Who knows? I don't know. I've got no idea. To be honest, I'm very lucky to have been given the support and the blessing that is you guys. Anyone that's watching this right now and anyone that's followed me, I've never considered myself anything special. I've always just tried to be the best version of myself that I possibly can be and I've been very lucky that you guys appreciate that and like that. I used to have my big handlebar moustache which obviously made me a bit more noticeable and stand out, um, a bit more quirky but hopefully it's, you just, you like coming along for the ride, you like what I'm doing and hopefully my following continues to grow and I can share my amazing life with you guys and, and hopefully inspire along the way so I can't really answer that question I think you probably need to answer it for me so if you're watching this comment below tell me why you follow me why why you like what I'm doing um, and if you don't keep it to yourself life's too short for the negative who cuts my hair I cut my hair um, I have actually been cutting my own hair for about four or five years now when I, I used to have really long hair so if any of you have been following me on Instagram for a while, you might see some flashback pics of when I had, honestly, like nipple length hair. I had a few bad experiences, so I just started cutting it myself, and over time I've gotten okay. I don't know, it's growing out a little bit now, but how am I doing? Am I looking okay? I have been given help. Um, if you follow my friend Kyle Krieger here on Instagram, uh, or his videos, go watch his YouTube. He actually did a little how to do it yourself video with me while I was in LA last time. So. Go watch that, and um, maybe you can do it too. That's it, I'm gonna keep it short and sweet for this one, but again, if you have more questions, comment below, send me messages through Bangarang blog, comment on Instagram, whatever it is. I guess I'll just do more as we go along. Hope it's been uh, okay to watch, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.